this time I'd invite the elders who are going to assist with communion to come forward and have a seat in the front row. And as they are coming forward, I'll remind you about this communion set today. Um, again, Bess Dietrich, who spent a long time in Korea with her husband Ron as missionaries, have donated this. And so we remember uh, Ron, but above all, as with the song we just heard says, we do this in remembrance of Christ, the Christ who called Ron and Bess to, to Korea as well. Something you should know about this table as well, that you are um, welcome as long as you consider these two things. First of all, have you been baptized in the name of the triune God? And second of all, do you trust in Jesus as both Lord and Savior, meaning that, that you believe full, fully that he will be able to save you apart from anything that you've done, and that you repent of your sin and, and trust in him for forgiveness. If those things are true, then this table is not only for you, it, it's the place where you are most yourself. And so it is Christ himself who invites you, his people. I encourage you now to join me as we join together in the great prayer of thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right to give our it is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, eternal God, our Creator. You formed us in your image. You loved us with an everlasting love. You graced us with gifts for service. And in covenant with your people Israel, you raised up leaders and judges and monarchs and prophets to show us your path of truth. When we were faithless and would not follow, you forgave us and returned us to your way. And in the fullness of time, you sent Jesus to be for us the way and the truth and the life. By your Holy Spirit, he united all those who would follow him into the new life in your love. Therefore, we give you thanks and praise, joining our voices with the heavenly choirs and the faithful of every time and place who forever sing to the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. He claimed his calling as servant of your reign. Jesus proclaimed good news to the poor. For the hurting and the lost, he, he poured out the living waters of your grace. For the hungry, he broke open the bread of life. And in humble obedience, Jesus even went to his death, even death on a cross. Yet death could not contain him. By your power, he was raised from the dead, to reign eternal with you in glory. And in the resurrection, the gifts of his spirit were poured out upon your people that the church might embrace his calling and live as his body in the world. Therefore, we take these gifts of bread and wine from among all the gifts that you have given to us and we celebrate with joy the redemption that's won for us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Accept these sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living offering of ourselves that our lives might proclaim the one who is crucified and risen. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Gracious God, pour out your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine that the bread we break and the cup we bless might be for us the communion of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unite us with the living Lord and all those baptized in his name, that we may be one in ministry in every place. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to be Christ's body in the world. Amen. The Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he'd given thanks, he broke it. He said, this is my body, broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. And in like manner after the supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. That as often as you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. Amen. I invite the elders to stand.
down the body of Christ broken for you. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ broken for you. Brothers and sisters, the blood of Christ shed for you. Elders, with thanks, you are dismissed. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks that through the life, death, resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have brought us into faith and therefore into life in him, a life that is forgiven, a life that will not end. We thank you for his blood, his body, which unite us into his body on earth and eternally. We ask that you would help us to share this gospel and this good news with all those that, that all your people may come to believe. We ask it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.